Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again. In this video, we're going to work out this definite integral. So it's a definite integral because we have this limit of integration we're going to be evaluating at the end. Now, if you take a look at this function that we're integrating, it's a quadratic in the denominator. And if you try to use the u substitution, it fails, it doesn't work. So we're gonna have to come up with another technique that would work. It looks like we have to complete this square. So if you see a quadratic term and a linear term, you might wanna try using completing the square method and it works for the most part. So we're going to complete the square. Now, if you wanna know how to complete the square, I'll leave a link in the description box so you can check it out. So let me show you how this is going to be done. You rewrite x squared minus two x, leave a space because we're gonna add an x subtract extra term plus two. So I'm just rewriting the same thing with a um, little space in between them. So for quadratic uh, completing the square, you pretty much take your b value, you divide it by two and you square it. That's the number you're going to add. So in this case, our b is right here, negative two. We take half of it, we square it. So this is negative one squared, which is one. So I'm going to add one but I don't wanna change the problem because then it wouldn't make sense. So I also wanna subtract one at the same time. So I have finished adding and subtracting the term I wanted. Now these three can be factored. That factored into x minus one squared. And then these two right here, they're just constant. Add them up, negative one plus two, that's plus one. That's where I'm gonna replace right here. So I didn't change the question, I just changed the look of it so we know how to integrate. So we have the integral from one to two. Eight, I can put it outside. So this is one over. I replace the denominator with x minus one squared plus one dx. Now, if you want, you can also do this. This is fancy. You can write this as one squared. Now this should remind you of the sum of something that you have seen before. If you're integrating, let's say one over some a squared plus x squared or x squared plus a squared, this integral happens to be one over a times tangent inverse of x over a. You can run a u substitution and rewrite. That's what this integral is, it's a tangent inverse. So it, we seem to have the same thing. So this is kind of like our x, this is kind of like our a. So we can evaluate it as tangent inverse. So I'm gonna go ahead and I realize that this is tangent inverse. So I'm going to say that this is equal to eight times tangent inverse of x minus one over a, a is one, and we're gonna evaluate it from one to two. So that's what this looks like. And we don't wanna write x minus one over one, so I just clear that up. So this is eight tangent inverse of x minus one going from one to two. And now we can use the fundamental theorem of calculus evaluated at the upper limit minus the lower limit of integration. This is eight times tangent inverse of uh, two minus one minus eight times tangent inverse of one minus one. One minus one is zero, tangent inverse of zero is zero. So that disappears. So we only need to evaluate eight times tangent inverse of one. And we know that tangent inverse of one, that is pi over four. So that's your knowledge from pre-calculus. This is eight times pi over four, which will simplify to two pi. So this integral evaluates to 2 pi. I hope this makes sense. See you next time.